Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video tutorial we will learn about a new feature available in Maverick Studio and Maverick Indie. On the main toolbar there is a new button labeled Sketchfab. As the name suggests, you can import Sketchfab models very easily. For those of you that don't know about Sketchfab yet, it is a large repository with hundreds of thousands of 3D models of all kinds. Many of those are free, and some others are available from their marketplace. The models cover a wide range of needs, as there are plenty of artists uploading their artwork over there. For this video, we picked some models we liked. Like this rifle here. We will import some of our pics in Maverick and make some photo reel presentation shots, exercising our knowledge in quick scene setup. Of course, all credits go to the authors of the models we will be using here. We have added links on the video description. The process to import Sketchfab models is very simple. First, we download the 3D model, selecting the auto-converted GLTF option. Then we go to Maverick, and hit our Sketchfab button. We browse for the file scene, GLTF that we just downloaded. We tell the importer to open as a new scene. Then we hit next, and choose an ambience that we like. Then, as usual, we verify the scale and the axis orientation. The model imported with all its materials correctly laid out. Let's set Maverick to render in ultrafast mode with the denoiser on. And let's maximize the IPR with Control Tab. Let's hide the floor, so we can better see the rifle. We can enable depth of field and configure the camera. By selecting this material here, we can increase the emissive power. The goal of this video, anyway, is not to walk you through a full lighting setup but to showcase some examples. Let's try another model that we find interesting. Thanks to the author, as usual. Download the 3D model, save the GLTF file, and go back to Maverick. Then hit our Sketchfab button, and browse for the scene GLTF file that we just downloaded. We pick an ambience. This one, for example. Now we verify the scale and orientation, and proceed. Here is our model. As you can see, opacity imported correctly. Let's recall the full layout by pressing F1. Let's add a spotlight object, which we can relocate with the normal light tool. We will not push further in the light setup this time, but you can get a feel of how easy it is to add and place lights. Let's take a look at the next model. This is a very cool steampunk robot. The author is listed as 3D coat, although the model and textures belong to David Vitiger. Again, we download the 3D model and save as GLTF. We go back to Maverick, and use our Sketchfab button to browse for the robot scene file. We pick an ambience, and set up the scale we want. The model imported perfectly, we can turn the camera around to pick a viewpoint and drop a different room. We can add a spotlight and reorient it with the normal light tool. We can enable depth of field. Move the camera around and take some interesting shots. The process is very easy as you can see, and the images look great.
Another model, a cartoonish version of Judge Dredd, thanks to Willie, the author of the model. Again, we download the 3D model as GLTF and go back to Maverick. The process is always the same. We browse for the scene GLTF file. Open as a new scene. Pick an ambience. And see if the scale is right. We will work on the light setup a bit more for this scene. Let's hide these panels and throw some spotlights in. The first one. We place it with the normal light tool. Then we create a duplicate. And place it. Then we duplicate again and move it somewhere else. Then we enable light mixer and set different emissive power and color to each light source. When we're happy with the result, we consolidate the changes. Making eye-catching presentation shots is very easy with Maverick. Next model. This time, we picked a motorbike. Thanks to the author. As usual, download the 3D model as GLTF. Go back to Maverick. Press our Sketchfab button and download the GLTF file you just downloaded. Open as a new scene and pick an ambience. In this case, we will pick one with a black ground, which works well for elegant shots. Let's make sure of the scale. Which seems to be a bit smaller than expected by default. Let's delete the floor, as we don't want it. Then let's press F to zoom focus on the motorbike. Let's create a spotlight and enable light mixer. As always with light mixer, we recommend to turn every light source off, and then turn them back on one by one, playing with intensities and colors to our liking. When we're happy, we consolidate our changes and take a second to admire the render we just did. One more example. This time, a popular Sketchfab model called Littlest Tokyo. Greetings and credits to the author. We download the model as GLTF and go back to Maverick. Use our Sketchfab button and browse for the file we just downloaded. This time, we will pick an exterior ambience. There's no need to edit the scale for this scene. This particular example has some particularities that the author warns about. There is a black outlike cage that we will hide ourselves. The model imported with all its materials. Let's go ahead and hide the shadow catcher floor. And enable the sun. Let's rotate the sun and enable depth of field. We can simulate a miniature look. As a reminder, you can rotate the environment and the sun together with control shift and right mouse button. You can play as much as you want with the model and the light setup. One more model. This time we will use a more convoluted model. Thanks to the author as always. Download model as GLTF. Go back to Maverick. And browse for the file you just downloaded. Open as a new scene. Select an ambience. Check scale. And proceed. There you go. 
Let's hide the background. As you can see, this example carries plenty of materials and maps. All of them correctly assigned automatically by our importer. You can also see how the objects are correctly structured in groups. Let's talk now about a limitation that our importer presents at the moment. Let's exemplify with these marbles. Thanks to the author. Let's download the model and go back to Maverick. This is the limitation we mentioned, transmissive materials such as glass do not import right, PBR maps do not carry this information, and we haven't find a way to reliable transport this information from the GLTF format. In general, this problem is not a big deal. We can go to our library and assign glass to these objects. In the transparent folder in our library, we can pick a clear glass with a slight green hue. The marbles have some bubbles in the inside. We will apply a glass material to those as well. Let's enable depth of field and enable the sky and sun. Remember that you can rotate the sky dome with control shift and right mouse button. So, keep in mind that scenes with transparent materials may need that you manual fixing. Last, we will take a look at a different workflow. Passing the model through Substance Painter first. This time we chose these shoes, which were originally textured on Substance Painter. Here you have the author, and a tutorial to the texturing process. If we fire up Substance Launcher, in the 3D models area, we can connect directly to our account in Sketchfab. Everything is well organized in categories, and there are thousands and thousands of models available. Let's search for our shoes. Here they are. If we click the thumbnail, the Sketchfab viewer pops up. And if we select download, we can download the file as GLTF like we've been doing all through this video. We can also send the model directly to Substance Painter, so we can further edit its textures. Let's send the model to Substance Painter. The top progress bar starts, and in a few seconds, Substance will load up the model. Here it is. Let's review our workflow to send models from Substance Painter to Maverick real quick. First, we export the mesh. Then, we export the textures. Keep in mind that the textures must be exported next to the mesh. That is, in the same directory. In configuration, we will select the Maverick preset. Let's change the resolution to 2048. Don't forget to enable export shaders parameters if you renamed your texture sets. We hit export, and that's all. Go back to Maverick and use our Substance Painter button. Browse for the object file we exported. Open as a new scene, and make sure that the import settings are all OK. Pick an ambience and check the scale. Here we have our shoes. Now let's move the camera around, enable depth of field, and create a spotlight. Let's go back to Substance Painter, and paint something on the model to see how easy it is to update our changes in Maverick. We set up our brush in Substance Painter, and draw some text in. We re-export the textures, and go back to Maverick. Now we just use our Update Maps button, and that's all. Let's come closer to see how everything updated correctly. This is all. 
On this video we learned how to import Sketchfab models in Maverick, and we have reviewed the workflow to send models from Substance Painter to Maverick. We hope that you find this video helpful, and hope to see your hero shots making use of the wonderful collection of models available at Sketchfab. That's all for this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.